Meteorologists work to determine how much ice or snow we might see. The National Weather Service has a tool to help predict any possible ice accumulation. It's called the Sperry Pilts Ice Accumulation Index. Two News Oklahoma reporter Shay Smith spoke with one of the creators of the index. Shay. The ice accumulation index helps businesses and first responders better prepare ahead of a storm. The Sperry Pilts Ice Accumulation Index uses National Weather Service data and forecasts to predict how much ice will build up on trees and power lines. That index then predicts any damage the ice may cause. That's important things to know for the emergency management community because then they know how to potentially shelter folks. Before, if we just said, hey, ice storm warning could be bad, that wasn't everything they needed to know. The index uses different weather variables to determine the potential impact. Well, the primary, the primary input is the wind and the ice forecast. And so before, and even, even today, the weather service still primarily focuses on the actual amount of ice. That's what triggers our ice storm warning. But Sid educated all of us that the wind plays a big factor too, and sometimes you can have bad impacts even when you don't meet ice storm warning criteria, but it's windy. The index uses a number system, zero to five, to predict the severity of the damage. It, it, it's kind of like the, the hurricane scale where it ends up at a five. So when you start down near the bottom, it's, it's maybe a few outages lasting just a few hours. When you go to a three, that means multiple days of outages. And if you get to a five, it's more than 10 days and, it's, and it's, you're at the high end of the scale at that point. The National Weather Service says there will be heavy ice accumulations in some parts of the state. They say they are working with agencies across Oklahoma to prepare ahead of the storm. All the way from the state uh, emergency operations center uh, down to the local emergency manager and county official. The National Weather Service says that they are preparing for potential power outages, specifically south of I-44 near McAllister. Live in Tulsa, Shay Smith, 2 News, Oklahoma.